I praise and thank God for this beautiful opportunity that God has given us to come in His presence this morning, before His precious Word. For this morning's meditation, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 20, verse 7. The just man walketh in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. When Almighty God created man, we can see how he was given honor and respect by the loving Creator who had created him in his own image and likeness. But man, who took the blessings of God for granted, lost his glory when he became the slave of sin. And we see how man, bound by the lusts of sin, has come down to the level that is much lower than that of the animals. When we look around us, we can see how even animals are much better than us human beings. We boast about our education, wealth and other things. Though man has attained many things through his human wisdom, he has lost the sense of humanity, which is of great importance in the eyes of the Lord. He does not have the love for his own fellow beings, neither is he loyal to his loving Creator. He is pleased to do things that God hates. That's why God with a heavy heart talks about the children of Israel. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord hath spoken, I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his honor, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. When God chose the children of Israel to be a peculiar people for himself, he wanted his children to walk in the ways that was shown to them so that they could be an example for the nations around them. A nation with people who are wise and have the knowledge of the Lord. A nation so great that has the statutes and judgments so righteous, which is the divine law of the Lord. When the children of Israel walked in the statutes of the Lord, the nations around them had the fear of the Lord upon them. And they had the respect for the chosen people as they could see the glory of the Lord dwelling in the midst of them. But when they rebelled against the commandments of the Lord, they lost their dignity and they became a laughing stock before the world. Here the scripture clearly teaches that the just man walks in his integrity. A just man is the one who fears the Lord and loves to walk in the path of the Lord. He may not be much educated in the eyes of the world, but his walk or life will have that integrity that puts the fear of the Lord upon others. We know about the life of Job that's mentioned in the Holy Scriptures. He was a man who lived in the age of conscience and he did not have the law of the Lord to guide him. Nor did he have any individual to mentor him in his spiritual life. But the Scripture says he was perfect and upright and one that feared God and eschewed evil. He may not be perfect according to the norms which we know today, but he feared the Lord according to his conscience and lived a life that is pleasing to God. He walked with integrity and led a life that was an example to the people around him. Though he lost all his wealth, as Satan encountered him, still he holds on to his integrity which he had deep down in his heart. And we know how loving God corrected him of his mistakes and blessed him again before others. The integrity of a God-fearing person will be revealed in his walk. It is not his talk alone, but it is his life that reveals it. And the highest blessing he receives, receives in his life is when he sees his generation being blessed with the fear of the Lord. It is very easy to blame others for the ungodly life of our children. Some spend more time in prayer and interceding for their children rather than spending time in the presence of the Lord to find the mistakes of their own life. And many a times the life of the parents are a stumbling block in the spiritual life of the children. When the parents walk in the fear of the Lord, it will have a great impact in the life of the children. It is not easy to have an eye over our children all the time. We need to respect their freedom and pray for them as the mother of Moses did for her child who grew up in the most sinful atmosphere of that time. But if we walk in the path of the Lord with a sincere heart, God is faithful to bless our children with divine knowledge of the Lord. Even though they commit mistakes, God will chasten them and help them to learn from it. 
just like he did with his children in the past. So let us be careful enough to be an example to our children, even if we are dead and gone. Let our life talk to them to honor God and fear Him. So more than gathering wealth and other things for our children, let us be careful to lead a life of integrity, which is the greatest blessing upon this world. Let our life inspire our children to walk in the path of the Lord. The scripture is not only for the parents, but it talks to all who love and fear the Lord. Let our life be an inspiration and example to all around us. May the Lord help each one of us for that. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful morning time that you have given us and thank you for your precious word, Master. Thank you for speaking to us. Lord, help us to walk in the integrity that the scripture defines before us. Lord, your laws are perfect and help us to walk according to your word so that others may learn how to live and they may glorify your name. When the world is full of sin, people are chasing their own desires, trying to enjoy their own lusts, their own passions. Father, help us to be a blessing for others. Help us to be an example before our children. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.